Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel, and it's been a while since we had some Victory at Sea stuff to cover, but we do have some new goodies for you guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at the Akagi, but we have plenty more videos coming, and we do finally have the uh, rule book as well, so uh, expect lots and lots of coverage uh, in the near future here with that. So, but today, like I said, we're taking a look at the Akagi, so basically adding a very solid uh, carrier to our forces for the Japanese uh, Navy, and so we'll get this opened up here, and we'll take a look at everything that's inside for you guys. Stay tuned. Alrighty, guys, we are back, and we got everything opened up here for you, so uh, let's get some of the um, lesser things out of the way. So, if, as usual, we get our Working with Warlord Resin Kits uh, info sheet, um, so, you know, we've seen that a million times now. Um, but it's still worth knowing, uh, I guess, if you haven't worked with much resin. But um, we get our little sheet of tab sliders there. Um, and then our metal components here, which we'll see on the assembly guide, so definitely need those, but really good stuff there, like the exhaust and some of the superstructure. Um, and speaking of which, so assembly guide here, so not too many pieces, um, but we do have to get some work done here, just to, you know, get the lower superstructure since Amagi, or sorry, Akagi was converted from an Amagi class um, battleship initially, so... Um, but nonetheless, really cool model. And then on the back, we got a little history uh, blurb there, but also then a suggested uh, painting guide for uh, Vallejo and Army Painter things there. So really good stuff. Then on to the stat card. Um, so we haven't had a chance to double check in the rule book yet just to make sure that, um, you know, whether the stat card or the rule book is actually going to be accurate on these or if there were any discrepancies. But nonetheless, going with what we have here, so 250 pointer, uh, flank speed of 6, armor 3 of 86 hull, carrier torpedo belt 2, uh, and carrying uh, 17 flights, so very good stuff there. Um, again, Depending on, you know, if you actually feel this on the tabletop or not, or if you're, you know, using the carrier off, uh, off map. Um, so that being said, if you did find yourself, um, uh, having this on the tabletop, so you do have the ability to defend yourself a little bit, uh, as well with your batteries of light guns here. So it's got six, 7.9 guns, uh, and 12, 4.7 inches. So the 7.9s actually reach out at extreme range of 26, which is not insignificant, but really um you know your best bets are going to be at short to long there um you know if things are at point blank range something's probably on horribly wrong um and kind of where short range for the 7.9s is here and then long range uh for the light guns there so that's probably going to be the sweet spot just where you can probably most effectively engage with both but anyway both of them throw six dice the um, 7.9s are restricted, but the smaller guns are at least dual purpose, but restricted and weak as well. And then the uh, AA battery here is local too. So, and then going to the back again, we get that same um, uh, blurb there. And um, some of the other sort of historical information here. So she was pretty long, 855 feet, uh, 42, almost 43 tons. Uh, pretty fast though, 31.2 knots. Crew of 2000 and commissioned way back in 1927. So, um, again, for those who don't know the history, feel free to pause, of course, the video and just read up on that. But really uh, interesting there how so many of the uh, earlier carriers uh, for many nations were uh, converted from initial, initially from like battleship hulls and stuff like that. So, and speaking of hulls, we have an impressive one here. So, let me get this back in focus here properly. So, um, this is just a massive chunk here of resin. So, uh, this is about Yamato in size almost, I think. Um, I don't have it handy right now to compare, but um, this is this is by no means a small ship, guys. So, um, and as you can kind of see there, um, you got the A and B sections there, so you can figure out exactly how to. Um, assemble the superstructure and all that, but um, yeah, this is this is a big boy here. So lots of great detail, of course. So um, this one um, is in the good resin that Warlord has. So um, no more of that dark resin that we saw in some of the earlier ships, uh, early wave things. So this is that light, lightish gray kind. So um, very crisp detail and hardly any warp or flash or anything. And then the other pieces here, um, we do have a little bit um, of cleanup to do. So but the various uh, upper deck pieces here and the other various decks, the flight deck and all that stuff. So um, you can kind of see where some of the superstructure bits will go for the metal there. But um, all the, you know, all the smaller guns and AA guns and all that are seem to be modeled on here. So really good stuff there. Other side for you guys, some of the other smaller launches and stuff. And then I'll try and bring this into focus for you guys as well. So um, there we go. So yeah, this will be fun. Like I said, a little bit of cleanup work here, but not too bad overall. 
uh, very manageable here. And obviously we got to get these bits trimmed up so that everything will fit nicely and then, you know, pair that with the metal bits. But um, if we were to kind of lay this in here, and probably, of course it's not going to fit perfectly, but just to give you guys kind of an overall impression. Um, so yeah, this will look pretty damn cool once it's built up. And again, just adding a great... Um, uh, overall great carrier here for the Japanese Navy so uh, we got plenty more work to do for them uh, you know again we do have finally uh, the rule book and we're catching up on some of the other releases now um, so I know we haven't had some victory coverage for a while but like I said um, now that we do have the rule book we'll be putting out tons of um, videos and other things for you guys there just covering the sort of the full game now and checking out sort of the full fleet list and seeing what's out there um, and I know we got like Italians and everything dropping soon as well. So lots and lots of things coming up on the Victory Sea side. So um, we're nearly done as well as a quick update. We'll probably do a separate video on this, but just we're pretty much caught up on any and all assembly there. Um, and we're making progress on painting our various fleets there. So we should hopefully have some battle reports um, uh, for you guys here in the near future. So um, definitely looking forward to getting that out there for you guys. And now again, that we have the full rules, um, that'll make that uh, a little bit more worthwhile than just going with what we had from the the basic intro um, set and two-player uh, uh, sort of starter rules that we had. So um, that being said, for those who already have the Akagi, um, let us know uh, in the comments, guys, how your games have been going with that. Um, and if you've been playing against it, uh, in a, against the Japanese fleet that has had this, uh, whether it's on the tabletop or it's been off map, um, you know, um, how have you dealt with it? Um, were you able to, you know, if it was on the table, were you easily able to sink it? Uh, how'd you go after it? Um, really curious to hear from you guys on how your games have been going um, on either side of the table uh, for this uh, for this carrier. So, uh, again, leave us a comment there and uh, smash that like and subscribe button if you guys haven't already. Um, also, if you want to help support the channel, um, there is a link in the description there, and if you guys head over to Warlord from that um, and pick anything up there, that will... Uh, certainly come back and help us as well. So we do appreciate everybody who uh, has been doing that recently. Um, and then in the meantime, guys, uh, stay tuned for some more Victory content. Again, we'll have plenty more coming for you here down the road. Thanks so much for stopping in, guys. We'll see you in the next one.